My first step to achieve glowed up skin is the makeup primer spray from Scandinavia. And this is just a vitamin based primer. I also put it on my lips to moisturize them. After I've applied my primer, I'm applying my foundation. This is the Invisiwear foundation in shade 300, which is solely designed for yellow olive skin tones. And now I'm just taking my Stila contour duo palette kit, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just contouring my cheeks. I just take my brush and do round, um, strokes on my cheekbone to just define them and also I'm going to be doing a few dots on my forehead just to minimize the size of my um, alien five head and then after I've done that I'm just going to take two lines and draw them straight down the sides of my nose to slim my nose a little bit and now we're just going to blend it out Blending is so important when it comes to contouring. You don't want to have like dots or lines or anything leaving you looking like a Neapolitan ice cream. So now we're going to take the highlight from the contour kit and just apply it underneath our eyes. I'm um, using this one as a concealer because it's more lightweight than any other concealer I've had. And then as well, I just take it down the bridge of my nose. Now I'm taking the Kevin Aucoin contour kit and I'm just setting all my contour, my cream contour and stone or just setting it so it will stay for the whole day and um, I'm basically just doing the same thing but it's just with the powder. What I like about the primer so much is that it's so lightweight and silicone free so it doesn't feel like I'm putting makeup on top of makeup. It literally feels like I'm putting makeup on top of like the baby's butt skin like it's just so smooth and it keeps my makeup on for a very long time a lot of my primers have been very greasy and I guess it's from the silicone and it kind of like runs off my face but with this primer I've noticed that it stays on for almost like I think like 12 to 14 hours I would say it would stay on for that long if you use the primer and the finishing spray so it really does help a lot especially with my redness and then also with my pores it minimizes them as well so I highly suggest you guys in this, in this primer if you're looking for a nice silicone free lightweight primer So once you have contoured with the powder, just go ahead and blend this all the way out. You don't want any lines or anything showing that you've been contouring. Now I'm just going to warm it up my face. I look a little dry, a little gray, so I'm taking this... Um, contour or bronzer palette from the beauty supply store and just applying it on my cheeks on my forehead and anywhere where i feel like it's kind of pale And now I'm taking this NARS blush in G-Spot and I'm just dotting it on my cheeks to give me kind of like a cuter, more innocent look. I don't know. I just love blushes and this blush is like the perfect blush for my complexion. So I'm just applying it onto my cheeks and I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend it all out. So I've always had a problem with having like ashy eyebrows. So I'm taking the um, the Scandinavia makeup primer spray and I'm just spraying it on a brush and I'm gonna like kind of like take the excess makeup off of my eyebrows so they don't look kind of ashy after I fill them in and stuff. After I have kind of taken away the ash, I am using Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pencil and just filling in my eyebrows ever so slightly. And after I fill them in, I take the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel and just kind of comb them into place. Mm -hmm. 
Once I finish my eyebrows, I'm taking NYX's lip liner and coffee and I'm just lining my lips. This is my favorite lip liner. I've been using it for months and months and months. And I just find it very like a natural brown. So after I've lined my lips, I'm just gonna take it and like smear it all over my lips so I can get like a full color. And after I've used coffee, I use NYX's Ever and just apply it in the center of my lips. And now I'm just gonna get to highlighting. This is Benefit's High Beam. And I just take this one and I blend it out with my Beauty Blender. This is just like the base for my highlight. It's a very liquidy highlighter, so I wouldn't recommend using it on its own unless you like very, very, very dewy looking skin. But this is just my initial highlighter. And once I have blended out the high beam highlighter, I'm going to take Becca's Champagne Pop. Every girl on the planet should own this highlighter. It's amazing. And I'm just going to put it onto my cheekbones just to kind of set that previous highlighter in stone and also just like up the ante for my highlighter like this is some crazy highlighting going on right now you know what i'm saying so crazy now i'm sure a lot of you girls who do makeup know that spraying your brushes with a primer or water will obviously heighten the pigment of the highlighter or any eyeshadow or anything so i just sprayed the Scandinavia primer spray onto a brush and i'm using it now to kind of highlight those key points which are my corners of my eyes my brow bone the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. So now I'm just using my wet brush and applying the highlighter. Also make sure to highlight your cupid's bow and the top part of your lip. This just accentuates the shape of your lip, I guess. For me, it just makes everything look so glowy and beautiful, so I would just do it. Now blend it out because you don't want it to look too like bam, bam, bam. You want it to be like a subtle bam, so just blend it out. And now I'm just going to wing my eyeliner. Well, kind of like the opposite of a wing. It's like a downwards winged eyeliner. It's like a depressed eyeliner. So just go ahead and angle it downwards. This helps with making my eyes look bigger, I've noticed. So this is good for people who might have small eyes like myself. Once I finish lining my eyes, I'm taking my go-to lashes, the Ardell Demi Wispies, and I'm just applying them. I've tried millions of lashes, like I love lashes, and these are the best lashes that I've ever used. So if you're looking for a go-to lash, I would do the Ardell Demi Wispies, and no, this is not a promotion for them. I'm just being honest. Now I'm just taking a black mascara and I'm just applying it to my natural lashes just so it blends with the false lashes. And now I'm just going to set my face with the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray and this is just going to keep it in place for the whole day. I also apply it to a Q-tip and then I take my Q-tip, the wet Q-tip, and take the Becca highlighter and apply it underneath my eyes to make my eyes look more innocent looking it's like a korean makeup tip that i picked up so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i will list all the products below now these are just some scenes of me feeling myself and being conceited and fixing my hair you guys know the usual but i hope you guys kind of got the gist of it this is how i do my makeup every day i love very glowy makeup so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be back soon with another video for you guys love you so much thank you for watching